Well, hello everyone. Um, this is for me the last week of the first month. The Northern Hemisphere, that first month is typically the month of peace. A lot of other things it can be as well, but I'm passing through how to experience it on the fourth week. You might remember that we take each week out of four weeks and we give them a slightly different quality of peace. So the first week, that first week is mostly about divine peace or peace from a divine perspective. On the second week, it's really more about individuality, which means understanding the significance of family and becoming an individual in the body and so on. The third week is around social emotional dynamics, mostly with people that are not the biological family, though a lot of biological family feelings are processed during the third week through social dynamics. So the third week, social dynamics. Now, one of the things I noticed on the third week while trying to practice peace in a social dynamic spectrum <clears throat> is I noticed the only way I could actually have a way of feeling it better was to practice a sense of kindness. And that the feeling was kindness because kindness really is something to do typically of an action toward others. Yeah, I could be kind to myself, that's an action too. But on this outer social dynamic week, it is usually the outer expression of peace in social dynamics. So the thing that came most usefully was kindness. Later on, I found that that kindness is still with me and is circling potentially for the next year. Kindness. And I realized that I don't really do kindness all that well. So, okay, what a wonderful thing to practice. And about right then, an autumn leaf fell off the tree a few weeks back. And I've been really anticipating the autumn season because I've been watching these leaves grow. Now, I, I gave you a background picture, but I might try to turn around mine. I sit right in front of a large window within touch, I can touch. And this is what the world is mostly around me. The house here is surrounded in leaves. Now, I've watched them come out in the spring from almost nothing to bursting out with a warm stretch within two weeks, all the leaves are green and formed. And so I've been for six months, slightly more, anticipating them arriving into the autumn colors. And the autumn colors being this really beautiful gold, green gold, and the entire region of the Northeast of North America is covered in these very beautiful, beautiful trees in the moment. And I've been waiting for them. To, and then a few weeks back, the very first leaf fell. I was kind of ex excited to see the very first one. And there was maybe two or three in the day. And so when it came up to the time to practice kindness, and I was thinking about kindness, a leaf fell right in that moment, and I go, ah, okay, there is a good reminder. Every time a leaf falls, I'm going to practice my expression or extension of kindness to that leaf. Now, I know it sounds odd, but I'm having a relationship with each leaf that falls, and 
my aspiration in that is to extend my empathic, etheric, whatever feeling that is, and kind of imagine catching that one leaf and, you know, taking it to the ground tenderly and leaving it right where it was intended to be mathematically. And wow, did you know that leaves are like snowflakes? No two of them are exactly the same. Just like snowflakes. And that one leaf, it is the only time ever that that one mathematical distribution of a specific leaf will be formed because next year the earth is in a different position, the conditions are different, all the leaves are numerically original. So I had this just deeper appreciation, wow, Human beings are like leaves. They they come for a while and they leave and they're completely unique. And we go through this and wow, I, I could use a little practice of kindness. So I was practicing my kindness this morning in the last few days, you know, the leaves have been increasing from, you know, one an hour, literally one leaf an hour. I'd wait for it to come and ah, there is a practice of ah, there's another one. And then it got down to, you know, one in 15 minutes and then, wait, one in 10 minutes and, you know, and then one in five minutes and then one a minute. You know, it's kind of hard, you know, one a minute. Ah, there, there it comes and I'm, I'm feeling it tenderly and ah, then another one falls, ah, then another one falls. And then I'm practicing this kind of like almost passionate desire to want to be aware of and feel every specific snowflake that falls that ever existed. Wow. Well, this morning, <laughs> I'm sitting here and the leaves are falling about one every two or three seconds. I barely have enough time. And did you know they're all very different? Some of them just flutter to the ground. Others, they glide across the yard and they land like an airplane, you know, 20 or 30 meters away from the tree. Other ones float back and forth and they turn and they do pirouettes and some of them just go straight down and yada, yada. There's so many variations about how these leaves are formed and fall off the tree, just like people. Wow. Then... I'm sitting here doing my practice, really enjoying it. And then suddenly there are 10 leaves at once coming off the tree. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I do all those at once? And then, well, what happened was there is a gentle, quiet rain. And the water hitting the leaves started some of them to cascade downward and take a few friends with it. And there are clusters of leaves. <sighs> How am I going to do all the, oh, oh, just have to put my arms out and be the earth and welcome them all at once and then stay with it. Well, this is my own way of practicing the fourth week which has to do with a heartfelt feeling of wanting to grow a virtue. Maybe most likely the magnitude of that virtue I've never had, or if I did, it was very temporary, or my family tree didn't have those levels of virtue, the virtue of, in this case, practicing the gleeful celebratory experience of happiness through the act of feeling the kindness to one leaf. Ah, there it goes a couple, a ah, few more, ah, the other really, ah, they're following. They're, well, okay, I'll, I'm not turning it around right now. Wow. I realize how seldom 
I actually practice a virtue. To me, a virtue is defined as a human perfection, meaning perfecting something as a human that becomes an, an attribute of quality of character that is human. That means to me without divine assistance, because if the same virtue were with divine assistance, it would be a celestial or divine attribute. But I want to practice my own experience of the willingness or desire to engage in, share, celebrate with a virtue. The one I've chosen is kindness with an expression of happiness. And I realize that, wow, I, I need, it's really good to practice, to practice that with a friend, somebody who wants to give and receive that kindness sharing quality. Wow, I'm, I'm not even sure I can do that. I'm not sure there's people out there that would really like really want to actually share and desire to receive an act of kindness. I had to look around. I go, you know, I don't really know anyone who really would agree to want to give and receive an act of kindness for the quality of wanting to infuse the month of peace feelings with kindness and happiness and friendship. That's the upper canopy of the fourth week. That's happiness and celebratory and kindness. That's peace expressed with friends. You can add some other words in there if you want, qualities if you want, but wow, what a, wow. I need to sit with that because at some level it produces a little sadness, which is now I'm going to need to protocol that because there's so little actual kindness in the world. And I have to feel that, ah, uh, there's no one around. Oh, uh, uh, I have to protocol that and protocol that and protocol that because those are the feelings I need to clean in order to, increase the magnitude of the virtue of kindness inside me. Okay. This is the last week of the two girl or the peace month in the Northern hemisphere. I'm not going to go over to the Southern hemisphere just right now and talk about how to do that with emotional, personal passion and well, hero fire, whatever that might be. That's a whole nother story. Within a few days, within three days, we start the four girl month, which is the ability to develop the skill set of transforming one's heart to open, receive, exchange, and a whole bunch of other virtues associated. But that's the four girl month. This is the two. The two girl, as you know, is your mother's mother. Yeah, a little feeling with her of kindness would be nice. And then the next month is your mother's mother's mother, which is your great grandmother on your mother's side. Yes, a little kindness with her is also useful because that's part of what the protocol is. Well, I just wanted to share with you, and I, yeah, I know if you think that's a little strange that a grown man is you know, sitting around waiting about, you know, ah, oh, there goes, oh, yeah, oh, a leaf just. Maybe by the time I grow up, I'll, I'll have a, um, a better kindness. So some of you out there, if you would like to, I'd like to share some kindness with you. Let me know who you might be and, you know, all, every now and then, just a little, little, little tickle. Just because tickles are good for both of us. I'm, I'm not just doing this for nothing. Okay, there's a strategy or a 
intention or there's a purpose. Yes, yes, I know. But I'd certainly like to be kinder and care about more people than I currently do. Because there's a lot of leaves in the world and I haven't even gotten to a, a fraction of them. So how many souls are there? I can't even count them like the leaves. Okay. I'm going to leave you now. <laughs> See you, bye. <laughs>